Welcome ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Beaky and let's talk about some of the interesting video game news over the past few days. We're going to start it out with Outriders and their big debut on the UK chart. We're going to be talking about Marvel's Avenger for a small bit. Godzilla vs. Kong, the big Facebook hack that just was recently revealed. But let's start it off with Outriders. So the game was able to come out at number 6 on the UK chart, topping with big games like FIFA 21, Animal Crossing New Horizons, Super Mario 3D World, Monster Hunter Rise, which is at number 4, which is another interesting new release, and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe because it's Mario Kart. People just love playing that game. With all this great player count that's happening on Steam, the numbers are over 100,000, you know, top players in the weekend. You have 80,000 yesterday were playing at one point, even with all the server crashes. The game is a big success monetarily for Square Enix and People Can Fly, but there are problems with the game. And I'm going to show you a problem right now. This is why I'm showing you guys this video right here that was captured on my PlayStation 5. So let's skip ahead a little bit in this video, and I'm going to talk about an issue that I'm currently having uh, when my girlfriend plays. So this early part in the game, there's this bridge right ahead. And my girlfriend is on a mission. Every single time in her playthrough, she crosses the end of this bridge, the game completely crashes on my PlayStation 5. But as you guys just saw here, when I played this mission on my character, it doesn't do this. But now that I'm level 15, so I'm higher level now, in my version of the game, every single time I see an elite en enemy in metal armor, my game crashes. Doesn't matter if I'm playing solo, doesn't matter if I'm playing with friends. So I'm just like, what else can I possibly do? This is my last option, because the developers just told, told people maybe plug out your consoles, plug it back in and restart it. I mean, if it doesn't work, what else are you going to do? Plug it out, plug it back in and play again. So I'm actually trying to re-download the whole entire game and hopefully, if there is corrupted data, hopefully that fix it. Let me know if anybody else out there on PS5 is having these crash issues because it's seemingly my friends on PlayStation 4 are not having these issues. I do know some PC players are having them, but it seems to be very much a PS5 thing. Not sure what's happening there. So that's what's going on right now with Outriders. The servers seem a little bit more stable, but I'm still having crashes issues with the game overall. Let's talk about Marvel's Avengers. So Marvel's Avengers is actually coming to PlayStation now. Now for me, I'm still not going to be able to pick this up on PlayStation now and play this game. It just is not enticing. It's just not as enticing as games like even Outriders. As much as problem as I'm having currently with Outriders crashing, I'd rather legitimately deal with that with the gameplay and just the systems I see in Marvel's Avenger. It just does not look as fun. And I don't think even on PS Now as a subscription service that I'm going to be going ahead and playing that game this coming month. Godzilla vs. Kong smashes pen... Uh, the pandemic records for opening weekend box office debut so it's doing really well i haven't had a chance to watch this i was going to initially do a review on the weekend it came out but i wasn't able to do that but if i do eventually watch it i might just mention what i thought about the movie but if you're planning to watch godzilla vs kong let me know in the comment section below because i just want to know like hey this seems like kind of that thing that video gamers would watch did you like it did you not like it just let me know and last but not least, let's talk about Facebook. This is kind of the big story of today because over 532 million Facebook users' phone numbers, personal data has been leaked online. So I'm reading the story from IGN. And the reason why I'm mentioning this off the bat. So you guys out there that use Facebook and haven't updated your information in a while, this database of information includes phone numbers, emails, um, personal data that's going to be leaked out there, and people could try to impersonate you and use that data elsewhere. So right now, my biggest thing to tell you, why I want to mention this, is if you use your password, email address combination on Facebook, on any other services like PlayStation, Xbox Live, Discord, go and change those immediately. Go get a password manager, generate a random password. If you are a Facebook user and you've been on it constantly, or even if you've been away from it, this is a lot of users. Let me read the story for you guys right now to get a little bit more detail. The personal data and phone numbers of over 533 million Facebook users were leaked on a low-level hacking form on Saturday, April 3rd. As reported by Business Insiders, this exposed data is 
from users from 106 countries, including over 32 million records on users in the U.S., 11 million users in the U.K., and 6 million users in India. So the most of them are in the United States, so hopefully you're not one of those 32 million, but 32 million is a lot. The data leaked include phone numbers, Facebook IDs, full names, locations, birthdays, bios, and some of them even include email address. Now, some of you guys are like, oh, there's no passwords up there. Guys, that's enough profile data to try to impersonate you to Sony, Microsoft, or any of these other services. Your Facebook profile has so much about you. They could build up a good profile to call up using your phone number, even call up your phone company, try to impersonate, change your passwords, change your profile data to try to buy stuff. Come on, we've heard about this stuff in the past, even with the FIFA uh, you know, card situation back on the 360 era, when people were just constantly Constantly getting um, their accounts hacked and buying FIFA FIFA points. So this is why I wanted to bring this up to you guys as gamers. If you're using Facebook and you having all your emails or stuff like that linked together, if you have public information out there, you need to be careful. Now, personally, I am one of the people I never ever gave him full Facebook my phone number. I freaking never gave Facebook my full my real name. Doesn't that mean that Facebook doesn't know it because they can might know it through your friends. And that's always a big thing with Facebook. Like even if they don't know it directly from you, they can scalp your friends information and try to steal it and make up a concept sexual like a one big profile of who you are, who your life events is. So be careful what you put out on Facebook. Be careful what that information can reveal about you because they could use that information to try to get guess your security questions see what you like it's very easy to build a profile with you and reset your information so i just wanted to put out there guys be careful with this facebook hack if you see weird emails coming your way don't click on it go to the websites directly and be sure to keep your privacy and your information safe in this digital age all right guys this has been beaky for this video right here with a little bit of tech and some gaming news enjoy your week peace out